Okay, today what we've got is a 3D printed sidestepping target robot. Let me zoom back a little. <coughs> the idea is that uh, well, when you initially turn it on it's got a cycle, but once it's going it would walk sideways until you hit the target, which is the mouth, with a, a light source. Now, I haven't built the light pistol yet. Most of the uh, vintage toys that use a light gun, a ray gun, actually just have a normal old style filament bulb in there, but they have several lenses, usually two, some of them only had one, um, to focus the light down to a narrow spot so that you have to have more of a target. What I'm going to just be using today is this dollar store flashlight, which actually does throw a spot about that big around when you're a couple of feet away from your object. Um, and I've got uh, the bright sunlight coming in to show that it that isn't going to affect the operation of it much. And uh, there are moving arms besides the side stepping and a sound effect. Like I say, it's got to cycle through that when you first turn it on. Okay, now it's going in the normal mode and if you were to hit it with the flashlight, hit the target, and then it would go back the other way. Turn it a little bit. And I'll hit it with a flashlight again. <clears throat> so that's just the idea. It's just a sidestepping robot and it's uh, operating on just two AA batteries. You have your on off switch. All the parts can be uh, 3D printed. And basically it's using the uh, yellow TT motor, which is the easiest to find. That's the 148 gear ratio. You do have to uh, cut the nubbin off the end and, and strip some things off there. And I use some E6000 to hold the motor in to get everything to fit in there right. Like I said, it's just using a uh, AA a battery box holder in the back. Uh, the switch is my standard uh, slide switch with 19 millimeter mount screw holes. I didn't have one of those laying around easy. The uh, sound effect could be anything. I'm using this uh, sound card they sell for greeting cards. You can get them really inexpensive online. This particular one has a, a photo sensor, a light sensor, and it's uh, super uh, sensitive. I mean even a candle in a dark room would would trigger this. What I'm going to be triggering it with is an LED when the when the light circuit, well, you'll see what triggers it in a minute. But the point is, when I get the LED next to it, basically forming an optocopulator, you've got to encapsulate that LED in the sensor somehow to keep light from getting in there any way, shape, or form. Of course, it comes with a microphone and a record button. I just went on YouTube and typed in alarm sound, found that alarm sound, recorded it on the chip. Um, I've done uh, light target robots before. I did one that's kind of a tank shaped one that that changes its directions randomly so if you were trying to shoot it you would have to be moving around in order to uh, hit the target. I'll put a link to that down below. To control the, the TT gear motor I'm using this uh, dual H bridge and I've just recently done a whole video on how to mod this so that you can have a single control line reverse the direction of the motor and the mod is basically right there in case you don't want to watch the video but I'll put a link to that video down below as well and then um, to sense when you've hit the target here's a photo sensor this little uh, light sensor board which you can find really inexpensively you've got an adjustment pot for the sensitivity and uh, this little green board hanging off the back here that's a uh, voltage boost regulator, a buck regulator, and it's going to take uh, anything from below 2 volts, roughly, and move it up to 5 volts, because I wanted the uh, voltage, since there's a comparator on this board, to be stable. So I'm running this board on 5 volts, and I'm also running the uh, sound board on 5 volts. The uh, H-bridge for running the motor is just running off the 3 volts right off of the uh, two AA batteries. And those are basically the, the components that are in there. Um, 
you know, here's some, uh, there's a lot of different people that sell at this particular one. That's what it says there on the back. You can identify it just by looking at it. I've noticed there are ones that have a four pin header and ones that just have a three pin header on the back. The rest of the board looks identical. And the difference uh, is the ones that have a four also have an analog out. This one, this pin that's sticking up, that's the digital out, which means it either goes high or low depending on whether the photo sensor sees something. The analog ones give you a varying voltage before the comparator. And it uh, has idiot lights on there, one that shows that it's receiving power and one that shows uh, whenever it's detected light, which makes it easy to uh, set the trim pot. So, um, if I do a build video on this, then I'll get more in depth into how all that stuff wires together. But if some people just want to build just a side-stepping robot, which they can make walk in either direction, I'll put the files up on uh, Thingiverse and add them to the description box down below once they're uploaded so that you can uh, 3D print your own side-stepping robot.